So interim placings are 5, 4, 6 and 7. 5, 4, 6 and 7. Fifth number 8, La Spezia, in a time of 2, 16, 14, which just shows you it was almost five seconds outside of the class record on an improving track. So they absolutely dawdled in the early part of the race. Five, four, six, and seven. Let's see now from any trainer. Mick Kent uh, is now with Nigel. Wednesdays in August at Sandown, been very fruitful for Mick Kent in season 23, 24 so far, another win. Here with Crimson Light and Mick, uh, you pretty happy when you saw the move with here for a good time just to inject some speed into the race at about the 600? Yeah, I just had a walk with the track and I said, OK, I'd like to get off if you could. I mean, you're probably not going to be able to because you're going to be up inside a lot of horses. And uh, But I thought she extricated herself really well. I mean, we didn't have that speed to get in, you know, and she came off a bit and then she got out and uh, took a little while to wind up. But, um, you know, I think I told her before, I don't mind this mare. And um, she sort of found that ground very firm last start here, you know. It was probably a two that day when they said it was a three. And, and she sort of chased a hot speed and she stuck on well. So... Um, much different race shape today, and uh, no, it was good. Start 10 for her there, and a win under the belt at 2,100 metres. What beckons from here? I'm going to put her away for spring and bring her back and hope that we might end up in a, uh, another mares race, a uh, centre of race stakes over in Adelaide, something like that, stakes, those little stakes uh, staying mares races. Um, I think she'll develop, and she'll be better off with a spell. We mm. see Deny Knowledge is down to run in the second last at the Valley on Saturday. Unfortunately, couldn't take her place in the PB Lawrence on Saturday. She bounced through the uh, issues that she had on Saturday with her skin. Yeah, she just, um, she was fine when she left home. And during the track, I don't know whether she's disinfected or something on the tracks, just set off an allergy on her skin. And she was uncomfortable with it. So uh, we took her out. And yeah, she'll go around Saturday. She's fine. Look forward to seeing her kick off her prep. Well done. Cheers. Great ride there from Carleen Hevel, considering the inside draw. And um, Mick Kent is a uh, astute track walker. He found a position where he wanted, was hoping he, he might be able to get to. Um, understand it to be ambitious to go from the inside to try and get about eight to ten metres off that um, inside fence. But Carleen was able to navigate it, get to a position where a horse was able to balance up and hit the line strongly. And she's been very powerful through the line. So favourite salutes here in race number six, second leg of the quaddy, defeating here for a good time. Who was brave in defeat and fear, fear relentless, uh, getting back to some form, running third. Here's the winning jockey, Carleen Heffel. Carleen Heffel joins us after the winner board. Crimson light, Carleen, it's so often the case of trying to find the spot you want from a wide draw. Today was almost the reverse, having drawn the inside. There was the, the plan for the team to try and get where you ended up landing, but how did you do it? Uh, yeah, I definitely didn't think we'd be that far forward, but like speed, she was just on the drop today. She was pulling, I thought, oh, I really want to be here. I want to be out, out the back, the outside, but it all worked out well. We got to where we wanted, and um, that was the main thing. The change up to the race when here for a good time made that move. How quick did you need to react, and was it in the end beneficial? <laughs> yeah, I need to, but I uh, have to be patient. I had nowhere to go, and horses. One in front, one in outside. I was, I was looking for that little sneaky room to get out, but just had to wait. Um, and when she did, she let rip and had a really good one to chase down. Well done. Thank you. Carleen Heffel, successful aboard. Crimson Light for Mick Kent, who's having a very good time of it here at Sandown on a Wednesday to start the season. A break on racing.com. Six under the belt here at Lakeside. Still a couple to come racing from Murray Bridge after this. Oh.